Welcome to the AI Daily Brief. Today we are talking about something that at this point is absolutely undeniably a trend, and that is, of course, AI going nuclear. Now, one of the things that is very clear and has been clear for a while is that one of the bottlenecks and constraints on the continued build-out of AI was ultimately going to be power. Especially as we push further and further into the frontier, the need for energy for compute for data centers just goes up and up and up. Now, nuclear has long been discussed as a potential answer to that challenge, and it's finally starting to happen in a real way. In September, we got word that Microsoft was making a deal to help restart Three Mile Island, and earlier this week, Google announced a deal with Kairos Power to purchase nuclear energy from multiple small modular reactors. Amazon has now joined Microsoft and Google in making a big commitment to nuclear power, with the company announcing three deals on Wednesday, each focused on the construction of small modular reactors. Two of the deals are partnerships with local energy companies in the Pacific Northwest and Virginia to build out new generation, while the third is a $500 million investment in nuclear energy startup X Energy, who are developing pebble bed SMRs. The Pacific Northwest project will serve as the test bed for this new technology. All in, Amazon is looking to partner in the development of around 600 megawatts of nuclear power across the two sites, with room for additional expansion over time. Amazon said that they expect the reactors to be up and running in the early 2030s, and overall, X Energy is seeking to bring 5 gigawatts of power online by 2039. Like Google's nuclear announcement from earlier this week, Amazon presented the news as a climate initiative. Matt Garman, CEO of Amazon Web Services, said, Nuclear is a safe source of carbon-free energy that can help power out operations and meet the growing demands of our customers while helping us progress towards our climate pledge commitments to be net zero carbon across all our operations by 2040. One of the fastest ways to address climate change is by transitioning our society to carbon-free energy sources, and nuclear energy is both carbon-free and able to scale, which is why it's an important area of investment for Amazon. Our agreements will encourage the construction of new nuclear technology that will generate energy for decades to come. Now, what's starting to become really clear is that the big tech firms believe that the only way that they can meet both their emissions targets as well as their need for increased consumption is the full embrace of nuclear power. These recent announcements have completely cast off any hesitancy around nuclear that was common even up to just a few years ago. Now, it's a little bit out of scope for this particular show. The Cliff Notes version of SMRs is that the idea is to use new designs that have less risk of meltdown. Amazon and Google are each choosing a competing design. The other big point, in addition to risk, is that SMRs should be quicker and cheaper to build out than conventional nuclear power plants. But another interesting dimension of this is how big tech going full force into nuclear power might change the way that the U.S. thinks about infrastructure investment in the green transition. Nuclear is currently a little under 20% of the U.S. power supply. The last new reactor was built in Tennessee in 2016. That construction commenced all the way back in 1973 and was put on hold for 32 years until 2007. That means that even once work was restarted, it still took almost a decade to bring the reactor online. Most U.S. nuclear power plants were constructed between 1970 and 1990, and typically have a 50-year lifespan. That means that even if electricity demand remains steady, there would still be a need to refurbish or replace the entire fleet by 2040. There's been a recognized need to move on this issue for some time, but until recently there hasn't been any urgency. Electricity demand has basically been stagnant in the U.S. for decades, and tight regulations have made the development of new reactors a challenging proposition. This goes double for new reactor designs. A new design hasn't been approved by U.S. regulators in over 50 years until recently. Contrast this situation to other nations. China has built 55 nuclear reactors over the past 10 years, bringing on more than 34 gigawatts of new power. They have another 23 under construction. India has plans to build 18 plants over the next 10 years. Basically, for some time now, there has been a nuclear renaissance happening around the rest of the world, and it appears that AI is bringing it to the U.S. Perhaps the key to making this happen is stable demand. The hyperscalers are signing these nuclear deals committing to be anchor customers. That is, they are committing to purchase enough energy to make the new reactors viable all on their own. This, in many ways, was the missing piece for U.S.-based nuclear. New reactors are extraordinarily costly, so without guaranteed stable demand in place, they can't be built. Now, another part of the story is, of course, the larger shift in narrative. Mark Nelson on X writes, Sierra Club last month quietly reversed 50 years of anti-nuclear advocacy to endorse nuclear energy as a clean source of power. In their new electricity policy report, they call for using nuclear to protect the climate. Now, I think one could argue that this is actually more like a tacit acknowledgement that it's necessary rather than an overt reversal of their position, but still it shows just how inevitable this shift is. Rudy Havenstein on Twitter also points out how this is a broader shift as well. He writes, It's odd how for decades anyone pro-nuclear was some sort of anti-baby seal far-right maniac, but once Microsoft and Amazon needed, it's okay. Many in the AI community are just focused on the fact that this is yet another indication of the hyperscaler's belief in what the future looks like. 
Bindu Ready writes, All the cloud vendors anticipate a massive surge in AI inference and are ensuring they will have energy in the future. Key takeaway, AI training and inference will grow exponentially over the next decade, and it will require a lot of power. Ethan Mollick points out, The Google deal to acquire small nuclear reactors to power data centers increases the odds that we will see AI models scale through at least three more generations in orders of magnitude post-GPT-5 to 2030. According to Epic, power was the binding constraint. Lori Milavirta, however, points out something important about this discussion. She writes, The story on electricity demand growth from AI and data centers is ridiculously overblown. Excellent graph from the new IEA World Energy Outlook. Data centers projected to drive about 5% of electricity demand growth. Please focus on the real challenges and tune out pundits who peddle this story. The point here is that when it comes to real changes in energy use, the bigger story is about the industrialization of the global south, and frankly, the air conditioning that comes along with wealth growth. However, what makes data centers interesting is that we're talking about the need to grow power supply in the West for the first time in decades. So it is a big story, just not perhaps the big story that it seems sometimes. Overall, it is a super interesting moment, and yet one more indicator of just how triple, quadruple, quintuple down the big companies are on the AI future. That's going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief. Appreciate you listening or watching as always. And until next time, peace.